The Dark Side of Nigeria. Corruption is an antisocial attitude awarding improper privileges, contrary to legal and moral norms, and impairs the authority capacity to secure the welfare of all citizens. Corruption in Nigeria is a constant phenomenon. In 2012, Nigeria was estimated to have lost over $400 billion to corruption since its independence. Nigerian politicians find themselves in a strong position of power and wealth due to their connections with the oil and gas industries in Nigeria. These gas industries are under the control of the state-owned COMPANYNPC Limited. Oil and gas exports account for over 90% of all Nigerian export revenues. While many politicians own or have shares in these industries, tax revenues from the energy sector are diminished, and the benefits of Nigeria's energy Wealth is not evenly distributed throughout the country with Lagos State, benefiting disproportionately. Oil and gas revenues, therefore, account for the vast majority of the federal budget and the salaries of government officials. Vote rigging by political parties in elections is widespread, and corruption is endemic within government. Business arrangements and family loyalties dominate governmental appointments, paving the way for politicians, officials, and their business associates, who together make up the ruling elite, to ensure that they all become wealthy through behind-the-scenes agreements and the awarding of profitable contracts to favored supporters. In 2018, many government employees received annual salaries over $1 million. Corruption runs through every level of the Nigerian government, from considerable contract fraud at the top, through petty bribery, money laundering schemes, embezzlement, and seizing salaries from fake workers. It is estimated that corruption within the state apparatus costs the country billions of dollars annually. The government has made efforts to minimize corruption through the enactment of laws and the enforcement of integrity systems, but with little success. Greed, ostentatious lifestyle, customs, and people's attitudes are believed to have led to corruption. Another root cause is tribalism. Friends and kinsmen seeking favor from officials can impose strains on the ethical disposition of the official as these kinsmen see government officials as holding avenues for their survival and gain. Terrorism in Nigeria Boko Haram Islamic Sectarian Movement Founded in 2002 by Mohamed Yusuf in northeastern Nigeria, that since 2009 has carried out assassinations and large-scale acts of violence in that country. The group's initial proclaimed intent was to uproot the corruption and injustice in Nigeria, which it blamed on Western influences, and to impose Sharqa or Islamic law. Later, the group vowed to avenge the deaths of Yusuf and other group members who were killed by security forces in 2009. In 2015, the group pledged allegiance to the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant ISIL, and took the name Islamic State or States. West African Province ISWAP, also known as Islamic State in West Africa or ISWA. The next year, the group split, with one faction retaining that name and the other, reverting back to the original appellation. In the summer of 2010, the group began to assassinate individuals, typically police officers, and also attacked larger targets. One early operation that garnered widespread attention occurred in September 2010, when the group attacked a prison in the city of Bauchi, in Bauchi State, and released more than 700 inmates, including some 100 Boko Haram members. Later that year, on Christmas Eve, the group attacked two, Christian churches in Maiduguri and detonated explosives in Christian neighborhoods in Joes. In Plateau State, the latter attack killing more than 30 people. The Nigerian government in addressing this deployed troops to combat Boko Haram, but this has proved futile despite the efforts of the Nigerian forces. Prostitution and human trafficking. Nigeria is a source, transit, and destination country for women and children subjected to trafficking in persons, including forced labor and forced prostitution. 
The U.S. State Department's Office to Monitor and Combat. Trafficking in persons placed the country in tier to watch list. In 2017, trafficked people, particularly women and children, are recruited from within and outside the country's borders for involuntary domestic servitude, sexual exploitation, street hawking, domestic servitude, mining, begging, etc. Some are taken from Nigeria to other West and Central African countries, primarily Gabon, Cameroon, Ghana, Chad, Benin, Togo, Niger, Burkina Faso, and the Gambia for the same purposes. Children from other West African states like Benin, Togo, and Ghana were economic. Community of West African states Akawas. Rules allow for easy entry, are also forced to work in Nigeria, and some are subjected to hazardous jobs in Nigeria's granite mines. Europe, especially Italy and Russia, the Middle East and North Africa, are prime destinations for forced prostitution. Nigerians accounted for 21% of the 181,000 migrants that arrived in Italy through the Mediterranean in 2016, and about 21,000 Nigerian women and girls have been trafficked to Italy since 2015. Human trafficking in Nigeria is due to population boom and unfavorable economic conditions that aggravate unemployment, underemployment, and insecurity, which prompt citizens to seek for better opportunities in other countries. These opportunities include education, decent jobs, and higher income. About 15 million Nigerians reside outside Nigeria as a result of demand for access to quality education and jobs. Human trafficking remains a major challenge to the global community because it is a threat to human and the causes of crimes in the world at large. Since 2009, Nigeria has made efforts to tackle human trafficking through collaboration with the police, customs, immigration, network against child trafficking, abuse and labor, NACTL and National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP.